as we begin this Tridum prayer to Saint Lorenzo Ruiz de Manila. It is timely to know that our country also celebrates the 500 years of Christianity this year. It is just but right and meaningful to celebrate as Filipino Catholics the fruit of this great gift of faith from God shared to our beloved country. Let us be proud to give honor to our first Filipino martyr and saint, Lorenzo Ruiz de Manila. Let us know and discover how this great witnessing of faith continue to flow in our veins as Filipinos in order to be motivated and strengthened in our own faith as we are about to celebrate this feast we are being encouraged to imitate and follow this great sacrifice of life to be steadfast in defending our faith as true dominicans and to be closer to god especially during these pandemic times let us recall now the martyrdom of saint lorenzo ruiz de manila in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen opening prayer dear lord we acknowledge that you are the source of all truth goodness beauty and holiness you have inspired your son san lorenzo ruiz to proclaim your name by the shedding of his blood be with us throughout this novena so that like san lorenzo ruiz we may also allow you to be the center and master of our lives. We ask this in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Ultimate Victory St. Lorenzo Ruiz calls the Filipino Catholics of the day to uphold and strengthen their nation's baptismal consecration. His example urges you to meet the challenges of the present with the same strength of character and trust in God with which he faced the supreme test of love. For the last time, Lorenzo, you were asked by the Japanese authority if you would recant your faith in God and live, or you would continue professing your faith and die. Your final answer was, I am a Christian, and this I profess until the hour of my death. And for God, I shall give my life, and so do with me as you please. When the pandemic started, I noticed that I was not that close to God anymore. Maybe because I stopped attending Holy Mass every Sunday and maybe because I also lose hope that things will get better soon. Then one day, I realized that I no longer pray to God like I used to before. I realized that I got distracted by a lot of things and problems to the point that I forgot to talk to Him. And that realization hit me hard. That's the time when I tried attending online masses. But there's this one homily that I always bring with me. And that was when Father Jerry, our boss, said that we should always be in our BTS moment. Believe, trust, and surrender. I know that each one of us have our own problems in life. And I know it's not easy but we should not keep this to ourselves. We should rely on God in every obstacle that we encounter. We should always remember that He loves us so much and He's always on our side through our ups and downs. We should all have the courage to approach and talk to Him because with Him, nothing is impossible. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Dear Son Lorenzo, your final response gave you ultimate victory over your enemies and over death itself. You have allowed the Holy Spirit to speak for you and you have pronounced your faith in God and in heaven. You were victorious because you surrendered everything to the Lord. Help us also to choose what is lasting, immortal, and eternal. For in choosing them, we are also choosing God himself, who is life and resurrection. Dear San Lorenzo Ruiz, We felt your companionship during our freedom prayer to you. 
We pray that as we travel in this valley of tears, we may always find comfort in remembering that we have a Filipino brother who has conquered fear and death. This you have done, not by relying on your own strength and power, but by trusting and surrendering everything in God. Through your intercession, guide and guard our country and the world, that we may always do the will of God in our lives. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without an Amen. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So 